Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Young Vacabon, a.k.a. Whole Lot of Green Moss, a.k.a. Nate. So ugly in this bed. Know you're reading the title right now, but look, before you even jump into any type of conclusions, bro, I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. You feel me? I know the title might scare you a little bit, but I'm doing good right now. I'm doing fine. I'm doing well. The mental is perfect. The energy is good. You feel me? But on no joking matters, no clickbait matters, no nothing like that at all. Um, I really have been truly been going through it the last like last year. You feel me? Fully like 100%. Last year I was really going through it. Well, actually, I was going like it, my depression really started in 2020 leading into 2021 almost like committed suicide honestly i ain't gonna even hold y'all this ain't no click baiting matter this ain't no joking matter this ain't no oh da 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 he just doing this for views and nothing like that like it's it's proof you can see it like i have not been posting on my channel at all i've been ghost you feel me i haven't like been posting nothing everybody been like where you at where you at this and that so i ain't even gonna bullshit you you feel me um, I was really truly depressed. I was going through mental. I was going through it mentally. Feel me? I was mentally depressed. Um, I almost committed suicide. You feel me? So, I want to get that out the way. Yes, it is true. I almost did commit suicide. I, yes, I almost did try to kill myself. You feel me? But um, I will explain that. I don't want to go into details because remember, you know, I I escaped from that. You feel me? I escaped through that, and I don't want to bore y'all a little bit. I don't want to drag on the video. You feel me? But you know, I was really truly going through it. You feel me? And that's the main reason why I haven't been on YouTube because it's just like during during that process, I had chose my health instead of being on camera you feel me because it's like when i'm on youtube don't get me wrong guys i love making y'all laugh i love you know get creating content for y'all but y'all gotta understand all like i have a life too you feel me i have a life too you get what i'm saying like y'all don't understand a nigga got a life you feel me so it's like Every day, people will ask, yo, Nate, where's the next video dropping? Nate, when you finna do this? Nate, when you finna put me in a video, da, 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 this and that? But it's never, Nate, how you doing? Nate, how's your mental? Nate, what's going on in life, da, 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 da. I haven't posted a video in, like, since, like, last year, October. No, last year, spring break, bro. You feel me? So, almost, is, if I didn't... Like, it's about to be almost a year since I posted a video, but I haven't posted a video since last year's spring break, if I do remember correctly. Even though I put it out that content, I was still depressed, bro. Like, once again, bro, when I come on this camera, I'm coming with my personality. I don't come to fake a fake persona. How I act on camera is how I act in real life. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I can't come on the camera and then just like, you feel me? I can't laugh, put a smile on, and then in reality, I'm... I'm going through heavy shit, you feel me? Like, I can't just come on the camera, but then I'm going through heavy shit in reality, bro. So it's like, bro, like, I'm, it's like I don't want to force myself to even come on the camera. Every time I try to even get on the camera, personally, like, last year, I would try to record a YouTube video. I had content for y'all, but it's like I didn't feel it. I didn't feel just a weird demon, like this weird demon, this weird feeling, and it's like a lot of bad shit was happening. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I try to come on the camera and try to like, you know, put on my, yo, you see, you feel me? I try to put on that persona, but at the same time, it's like, I keep thinking about it. I keep, you feel me? It was fucking up my head. So I just, I couldn't focus at all. And that shit really killed a nigga mental, killed a nigga momentum to do shit. You feel me? If you get what I'm saying. Cause that depression shit ain't no joke, bro. Like, I always used to like, underst didn't understand why like people get depressed, or like if you're depressed, like find shit that make you happy. But that depression be kicking your ass, and I had experienced it firsthand. Like that depression literally, did I didn't want to be here, bro. Like it was so scary. Like I literally one day I thought like I wrote a paragraph. I don't. I'm gonna put it here. I literally wrote a paragraph. I was gonna send it out to all my friends. And once I sent it out, I was once I sent it out to everyone, I was literally gonna just end my life. You feel me? I was probably gonna overdose. I was probably gonna find a way to just like, you feel me? Like it it was some it was a scary ass thought, bro. And I know y'all wondering, like, okay, why was you depressed? I know what y'all asking, like, y'all quit to ask, why was you depressed? What was making you sad? You feel me? 
You feel me? I don't want to like get into it because once again, I escaped from that. You feel me? So it's like I already went, you know, I already talked about it. But I'm going to just sum it up. You feel me? I ain't going to even bore you. I ain't going to even hit y'all with no bullshit. You feel me? But basically, it's like I was dealing with like deaths, like people that was really close to me died. You feel me? Because it's just like the people that was really close to me died they really motivated me to even do this youtube so it's like damn you lose someone that always motivated you every day number like i was in death with family um i was having a lot of bad luck like shit was come from the past was coming back to haunt me um i had recently bought a car and i crashed that bit i didn't even have that car for one year and i crashed it bro like i always told myself i'm a good driver good driver good driver i used to drive someone else's car with no license soon as i got my license got the car i literally crashed my car within five months and everything was my fault like i hit a i hit a car at a red light bro like how did that happen like when i did that when that happened i was just like damn i had to pay for all the damages everything insurance was kicking my ass you get what i'm saying so i have a i was dealing with financial issues i was dealing with a few heartbreaks with girls and shit like but that ain't really like i don't really sweat on females but it's like that was you know it was it's a little add-on but once again it was just like a lot of bad shit that was happening to me at once in that year so it's just like I was just like, damn, like at one point I was just like, damn God, what what did I do to deserve this? You feel me? I, I was doing so good, then out of nowhere, like my life started just like, you know, kicking my ass, bro. Like, bro, I was crying, bro. At nights I would just drink, sit on the couch. Like I would just sit there, like I would just sit in a corner somewhere, just, you know, just like, you feel me, zone out, you feel me? Like, I remember I used to go outside and just walk you feel me? I used to try to like jump in front of cars. Like it was just a, a weird demon like telling me to do things. Like I'm hearing voices in my head telling me, bro, just fuck it. Like it's over. Like you feel me? Like I remember one time, like I had this weird feeling like I was in a car with someone, one of my homeboys. And they was driving fast. Like they drive fast. You know what I'm They like to drive fast. I remember I, I stick my head out and I just, I just wanted him to like, and this shit gonna sound scary. I wanted him to crash, bro. Like I wanted him to hit a wall. Like I wanted to fly. Like that's how much I like hated my life because it was just so much bad shit was happening, bro. So it was really truly scary. Like I tried to like overdose. Like I, try, I remember one night I tried to look for pills just to pop, but there was no pills. You feel me? It was just like every time I had to try to get a chance, like the devil was, you feel me? Like encouraging me to do shit. Like God was there, like guiding me, like no son, this ain't it. I really, honestly, didn't want, didn't want to be here, and you feel me? I ain't really care. Like I really put my mind, like I ain't really care who wanted me here. I ain't really care. You feel me? I, every day, if you see me, I would laugh in front of your face, all this other shit. But in reality, bro, I be sad as fuck, fam. I feel like it was killing me more because I would put on the act, and then I just go home and just become this dark person that I'm not supposed to be. It was just weird, dog. You feel me? Like, I already, I can't even cry. I don't, like, I cried enough. I I stressed enough. I I, I did a lot of thinking. I did deep thinking. I tried, like, you feel me? I did all that. And I went through the process. I, pre I bet you're wondering, like, what got you through all this depression? What got you? So one day, you feel me? I do have a homeboy that teaches me about God, though, you feel me? He does teach me about God and every day. He'll talk to me, this and that. I also have a couple of friends, you know, that I'll probably check in and be like, are you okay? But I'll, I'll bullshit. But there was just one specific friend that always tells me about God, this, you feel me, God, that. And he was just like, you feel me? You know, a little little scripture in my life. As times went on, he also told, he also told me like, do shit that just makes you happy. Like stay away from the internet, this and that. Stay away from all these other shit, this and that, blah, 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 blah all this other shit and i just started doing shit that just made me happy in general i remember i used to love to draw i drew you feel me um um i used to play games a lot i started playing games more hopping on online with my friends you feel me so i just started doing things that used like literally when i was growing up 
started making me happy to a point where I started doing self-healing. Like, stay away from the internet. Like, fuck clout. Like, fuck YouTube. Like, I don't care. You feel me? Like, why stress about YouTube? Why stress about this? It's, it's about me. You get what I'm saying? I started doing shit that, that, that I needed healing for. I, I started taking... When I st I used to take walks at night. I started taking walks in the daytime, bro. They had a car. I used to like call an Uber or Lyft to to the beach and just stare at the water. You feel me? Like soak my feet in and just gaze at the, you feel me? The horizon because it's just like, bro, I love that feeling. Like it feels good. Like I'm just like, bro, like this is this feels good. Like I'm happy to be here now. Like you feel me? All my demons are being washed away like that feeling is gone you get what i'm saying so it was just so like it was so relieving like i was just every day like as time went on i was getting happy and then like even though i was still dealing with depression my depression was going away slowly like i feel like depression don't go away overnight you get what i'm saying and you have to gradually like pull away towards it, like move towards happiness, peaceful, all this other stuff. So when I wasn't posting no YouTube videos, I was just, I was focused on my mental. Cause if I, if I kept worrying about YouTube, I wouldn't be here, bro. So y'all have to understand why I didn't post no videos, bro. Or why I didn't even try to attempt to post no videos. Yeah, I still have my Instagram. I probably post here and there, but you know how I am. I always post skits. I always post dumbass videos. You know how, you know how I get, bro. Come on now. So once you peaked how I stopped, you'll understand like, damn, he was really going through shit. And I could speak for a lot of people, bro. A lot of influencers out there, they pop, they be going through shit too, fam. Like, I feel like um, a lot of influencers out there go through shit, you feel me? And they don't speak about it, you feel me? They just put on this act for y'all to please y'all. There's some people that fuck, fuck the mental. They just want to please y'all. And, and you know, it's kind of scary. You know, I don't know how they manage that, but I couldn't do it. You feel me? Me, I couldn't do it. I couldn't please y'all while I was being depressed. I could have done it for a little while, but then it was just kicking my ass like, bro, I need to heal, bro. I need to heal. So... It's for like, for example, like Diamond, how she's going crazy. And you know, I don't like to mention nobody name or Diamond. I remember the whole situation like two years ago or back then we feel when she pulled up the Sid house, doing all this rada, 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 all this other stuff. Honestly, if I, I feel like she was, I feel like I could, I could put myself in her shoes. She was battling a demon, fam. A demon that's, that was lingering around. Cause that's, I had that demon like at nights. Bro, I would close my eyes and I could feel it, feel that demon breathing on me. And it was so scary. I never told nobody this, bro. I, I, t I, I mean, a couple of people, I did tell them I was depressed, but I never deeply explained why I was depressed. You know what I'm saying? Because people were just trying to figure out like, oh, Nate, why this? Nate, why that? Why you, you feel me? You feel me? Because sometimes when you explain shit to people, it's like, they can't do shit. But you... Only you can, but I felt like I kind of owed him one because I should have told him and they would have like, you know, prevent me from doing certain shit. Because honestly, I had chances to actually did kill myself and luckily it did never happen. And to this day, I'm here. I never told my mom about this. I never told one of my closest friends about this, but at the same time, I started healing on my own. I'm glad I started healing on my own and I like that. You feel me? I like that about me. I started, people started doing shit that made me happy because I'm not the type of nigga that is obsessed with clout. I don't give a fuck about clout or nothing like that. I, don't, I ain't obsessed with fame. I care about me, my health, who I am. Cause when I, when I get married, have kids, you feel me? I'm, I, I want to give it. I want to give them the world. You feel me? It's about them now. So, honestly, <sighs> damn dog. I, I, I'm trying not to cry cause it, it, I was really sad shit like that but honestly i was really battling a demon um it was lingering over me um and, and you know it's kind of hard to come on here and talk about this you feel me like i said i didn't want to drag y'all about this shit but it's just like that's that's what honestly i was going through you feel me um i don't want, i don't wish this on nobody but that's how i went through it you feel me i know i could have went to a therapist i could have went to this and that this and that but I decided to do my own self healing and this and that. So, you know, I think the glory, glory to, glory to be to God, first of all, glory to be to God. My God had saved me through these tough times, always looking over me, always watching over me. 
and always guided me in the right directions, even though I was looking the wrong way. So glory to be to God for real. And, you know, thank, and I'm thankful for my friends too. Um, there's a lot of y'all I want to say thank you to. So once this video drop, you know, I will, I will be personally DMing y'all, texting y'all because I know y'all probably watching this right now and letting y'all know, you feel me? Also about my Instagram, you feel me? My Instagram had got deleted like, um, in the beginning of October because Instagram, I thought I was bullying myself because I had posted this video. But even when my Instagram gone, I never was, I didn't stress. I was verified on Instagram, you feel me, with a huge amount of following. And I ain't stressed about it because it's just like, once again, I was going through my healing process. If my Instagram were to get taken away and I was stressed about it, that would just, I would just trigger, you feel me? I said, I don't give a fuck, you feel me? A lot of special shout outs to my homeboy Jeff, Sid, um, Wonder, Willie, um, Damn, there's a lot of there's a lot of y'all, but y'all, you feel me? Thanks for always being real. You feel me? Being my dogs, being my day ones for real. You feel me? Being my dogs, I fuck with y'all. I love y'all to death. You feel me, y'all, my homeboys. And honestly, I do have this last message to say, and I ain't trying to come off like no hater. You feel me? This is a special message to Geo. Um, Geo fam, you know you was my dog. You was cool as fuck, and I fuck with you, and we was real, really tight. But um, honestly, fam, like as time go, and and people don't, I hope I know people realize it, but it don't. As time grew on, fam, you just disappear, whoa. And I think it was that money that fucked your head up. You feel me? You got the money, this and that. You moved to Miami. You feel me? I didn't, and you know, when you moved to Miami, I didn't mind coming up to see you. But it's just like. How you started moving, you wasn't thinking right. You started saying fuck us in a certain way. And it was just like, damn, you feel me? And people don't see the behind the scenes of this shit. Cause like, honestly, we was all tight, fam. But honestly, I feel like right now it's fuck you. On some real shit, it's fuck you. So if anyone who probably know, who probably watches you, watching me right now, or close to you, it's, you, could, you could clip this part right here. You could trim it down, or you, you could do some editing. It's it's fuck you. It's a complete fuck you, cause it's the shit that I seen you do. I, I witnessed it, and I gave you too many chances too. But you 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 just got too big headed. You don't forget who was helping you, and when the times you needed someone to record, who was willing to sacrifice to help you record. Don't forget who sacrificed their jobs. Uh, my time a job when I was working at Burger King, I I told it. I almost like told it, I told her work I'm coming late just so you could get a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't forget the times I sacrificed to help you with the videos, but you couldn't do some certain shit on my end. But I never stressed about it. I just pee. You know what I'm saying? So this is coming from the heart. You feel me? Um <clears throat> honestly. Um, but thank you for watching. Honestly, if you're watching this to this far, bro, I, I really fuck with you. For real. So you know, now you know the truth of why I haven't been dropping no videos. But is it the end of me dropping videos? Fuck no. I did this because now I am ready to come at y'all. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> I'm already going crazy. <laughs> no, no. On some real, on some serious note. Yes, bro. I'm, I'm ready to drop some videos, bro. We got to reach our goals, bro. Hold on. Let me... Let me we we only reached one goal, bro. We got two, we got a couple more goals to go. First, we gotta get to five hundred k. Then we gotta get to a million, fam. Thank you for watching, bro. Um, if you're dealing with depression, bro, um, bro, you know, seek a therapist. Seek some seek some certain help. Seek some guidance. That someone who's really gonna sit there and care for you. Feel me? I should have talked to people that really truly love me, like my mom and all this other stuff. But I did this shit by myself, and this that was the hardest part. And you saw how long that took until now. You get what I'm saying? I hope y'all had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. And I see a lot of shit that happens on the internet, even though I'm not on the internet. You get what I'm saying? I'm on TikTok and all this shit. But if you're dealing with depression, this ain't no joke. Seek guidance, seek help, seek something. You feel me? Do shit that really made you happy stay away from shit that really fucks your head up stay away from that demon pray if you're not even a, 
you know, with God or type stuff, or you're atheist or you don't believe, but still seek something that's just that that makes you feel good. You get what I'm saying? Seek happiness, bro. Try to seek happiness. Try to lean towards stuff that was fucking your head up. Get your ass out of that area and seek that happiness, bro. Real shit, bro. Coming from coming from me, bro. So honestly, bro, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Actions speak louder than words, so I can't, I'm not gonna talk. I ain't gonna do no more talking. I'ma just show y'all, you feel me? I'ma just show y'all. But thank y'all for watching, man. Holla at your boy, man. Yeah.